Last uh, demo I like to do is the wok. So I have already described the material we use for the wok. So it's a composition of seven plies up to the edge. It's only 0.01 inch thickness because we want high heat here for or other things. We can do it straight away in the wok. And in fact, I also want to explain you that this wok has a lot of other features. We have a steaming rack that can be purchased separately and goes with the wok. Uh, and we can still use the glass lid or the stainless steel lid on top of it. It will close up. You don't have the hanging hooks. Most of the woks, or all the woks that I know, when you do this rack, they are hanging, so you lose all your steam, so it doesn't work. So in this case, we have a stainless steel cover either with a steam escape, which you can open or close, or you have a glass lid, so you can really use it for steaming. You put two quarters of, two quarters of water underneath to make steam, and here on top, you put your fish, or you can also put your vegetables. In fact, you can steam your vegetables, and you see you have more than enough room, even with this vegetable dish, it can go underneath. We have like uh, five inches uh, space underneath so that you can do a lot of things. So we can also do tempura. Tempura or other deep frying preparations where you put a lot of oil inside. When you have finished, you put them here to let drip out the oil before you serve it. So this is the half moon insert. You can also use this for steaming. Uh, you can prepare dim sum. Dim sum is fantastic in the wok. You, you place here the steaming rack and you place the, the bamboo sets or just the cups with dim sum on top and you steam them. Uh, it's perfect, it's all available. It has been tested uh, by our customers there and uh, they love it. So today I'm just going to demonstrate you a very simple stir fry. And again, I'm not a chef, so I'm just going to use some chicken. We will add some vegetables with asparagus with some broccoli with some uh, soya beans and uh, we are adding a little bit of cream but we will just do it very fast so again I will uh, not heat it first I will first put some frying oil and normally it's perhaps too much but two soup spoons is mostly enough for the deep frying that we for the stiff frying that we want to do we heat it again maximum level uh, but still see that you are touching the middle part of the wok don't go overboard by thinking a wok has to be very, very hot. That's a misconception. Wok cooking is done at 460 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the same as deep frying, yeah? not higher. So if you go over this temperature, you would destroy the food. And in fact, the Chinese chefs, they are using steel woks most of the time, and they have to put a lot of power inside because the steel wok is not a good conductor of heat. So once they are putting a lot of food inside, the temperature is coming down in each case under the 460 degrees Fahrenheit. So they need that power because the equipment is not adapted for what is possible with these materials. Here we have heat conducting aluminum in between the stainless steels. So we can, we have a better battery of energy. So the oil is becoming hot. You can see that on the spreading of the oil, you see it's moving around. Don't let it smoking. When you have the oil smoking, blue smoke, you have to throw it away. It's wasted, it's gone, it's finished. So a lot of people don't know that, but that's very bad. So use the appropriate deep frying oils and don't go too high that you don't make uh, too much blue, uh, don't make uh, blue smoke. If you are not sure about the temperature, you can always test it with uh, some uh, bread crumb. If the bread crumb is starting to fry and getting brownish, your temperature, your temperature is reached and it will work sufficiently well. The stir frying is always the same. You have to turn it around continuously. That's a stir fry. You have to turn it around that you have uh, the normal brown marks. Again, in the beginning, you can feel a little bit of sticking, which is the same as what we have seen in the beginning with the meat, until the moment that the egg white in the meat is uh, Right, there can be a little bit of sticking, but when the temperature is controlled properly, you will not have sticking of the whole thing and not getting black, black particles. Okay, this is always when you do the stiff frying, you start with the hardest part. This means in this type, this case it's chicken.
chicken meat. We do first the chicken meat. After we have the chicken meat, which is getting brownish, we will add the vegetables. Now, naturally, because we have uh, quite a lot of vegetables, I will not do them all, but we can keep, in this case, the, the high heat, relatively high heat. It's not a big burner, but the high heat of this one. We don't go too high. Okay, that's fine. Now we are going to add some uh, vegetables. And you continue the process. And what you have with the stiff frying is that you keep your vegetables crispy. They are hard in the middle. You just close the pores. You are killing the bacteria on the outside of vegetables. And this gives you the very special, healthy taste and quality of the stiff frying of food, of the uh, Asian style of uh, preparing food in different ways. So you can wait until uh, the soya is becoming glazy. And uh, you can do that according to your own feeling. So we are not going to finish that because it's taking too much time. But uh, I want to show you how you can finish the product. Suppose it's uh, prepared um, to deglaze uh, and to give some more taste. You can put a little bit of white wine, yeah? uh, but you don't have to do it. You can also leave it like that and just serve it. But if you like, you can put some water a little bit, just one tablespoon, or you can add a little bit of white wine. And again, you are going to they glaze at that moment. Again, when you, when you are doing this, you can uh, add some more power because you have to uh, cook away the wine, the liquid, just to keep the flavor. And then when you like, but again, it's not a recipe. You can finish it off, but then you have to cut down the heat. You put some uh, cream uh, just to give it another texture. Uh, I didn't do any seasoning. You can do the seasoning according to what you want. It's the same thing with uh, your meats. You can add the pepper at the end or before, so that's uh, all the, the same thing. When you do the cream, you should naturally lower the heat uh, because otherwise you could destroy the cream. So we just add a little bit of cream. We still bring it a little bit to uh, boiling, but very gentle. And then we can serve it. 